fragrances that will make people melt. So if you're trying to turn up the heat, you're trying to turn up that sex appeal, this juice will do that. Now, of course, as always, discount link for all of these in the description box below in the comment section, and I'll let you know if it's unisex, feminine, or masculine. So we're going to start with Naxos by Sershoff, and this is a unisex fragrance, and it's my favorite from the house of Sershoff. Now, it smells like honey and tobacco, but if you've watched my previous, my older videos, I used to say all the time that this is a mafia boss type of fragrance, and I still stand by that statement. Some of you might totally disagree with me, because you're like, no, there's honey in that, it makes it too smooth, and it should be like, if it's gonna be a mafia boss, then it has to be really rugged, but I disagree with that. I feel like if you're a mafia boss, you have to be a smooth operator. You know what I mean? And that's exactly what Naxos is. It's a very, very sexy, yet bold, but very likable niche fragrance. To me, this is a great starter niche scent if you're looking for something that's sweet. On top of that, in terms of performance, I easily got over 12 hours with this fragrance. I remember I sprayed one, one spray of this on my hoodie and just left my hoodie in a ball in my room. And I came back the next day and my whole hoodie, my whole hoodie, my whole hoodie smelled like Naxo. So the scent of it just traveled. But whenever I wear this, I only do two sprays, one to two sprays because it's that much of a powerhouse scent. So it has an amazing sillage, meaning scent trail. So when you walk by, it gets that head turning type of reaction, but not for the faint of heart. Very, very lovely fragrance right here, Naxos. Next up, We've got another unisex fragrance here called Sultan. Now, Sultan, to me, is kind of like a leveled up version of By the Fireplace by Replica, except I don't find it to be as sweet in the dry down as By the Fireplace. You know, this one here has an interesting note of dates, and then you still kind of get that fiery smell with this fragrance. And on top of that, there's a touch of incense, and typically when it comes to incense and fragrances, it's a hard pass for me because it reminds me of church, and typically it's always like out of balance, but with Sultan, it's very, very smooth. So this is one of those bougie-ass fragrances that isn't as polarizing as you think it might be. This has really, really good mass appeal, and especially for a fragrance that, and by the way, this shit will probably run you over like $400. I've seen it online for $700 before, so... That's wild, but yeah, the brand itself is bougie, but this is one of the most likable, expensive fragrances that I've smelled. I expected this to be way more polarizing, probably like a strong dominant oud fragrance, but it wasn't that at all. But when I did wear this, people loved it. I was like, okay. So they were going nuts about it, both men and women. So yeah, Sultan, solid fragrance from the house of Royal Crown. Next up, We've got a more feminine scent here. It is marketed as unisex, so guys can pull it off if you want to, but this is called Almaz by Kajal Perfumes, and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous fruity fragrance. This has been one of my favorite fruity fragrances that I have tried this year, that I've been speaking about this year. I know we're probably only, what, 13 days into the new year, but I smell this fragrance every day. Even when I don't wear it, I will go in my collection, open the bottle, and do this or sometimes spray it on my clothes and then like I go out to do whatever I need to do then I come back and I just kind of smell it like in my room and I'm like god this thing smells so fire now Almaz is not a fragrance that is going to be intimate okay this is a loud scent it is just like like Naxos a couple sprays of it will take you a long way so it will kind of fill the room if you do like five sprays of this scent but it's just it's not an obnoxiously loud scent where it chokes you out because this smells amazing when you're like further away from it but it also smells fantastic the closer you get to it like even if you put your nose to the spot you sprayed it it's not going to be repulsive because sometimes with these really strong fragrances they smell good in the air but the closer you get you're like ooh, i don't like that up close you know but this smells good up close smells good from far away and performance is over 12 hours a gorgeous fruity fragrance but not citrusy fruity not like orange and lemon i can't even i think like pear like i'm getting stuff like a bit of the sweeter fruits you know something that would definitely be really nice to wear during spring i would say you could wear it on a summer day not like a super hot summer day because it might 
get too cloying, that depends, but I still find that you can wear this in warm weather, absolutely. But you could still wear this when it's cold outside because it has that umph and it has that body to last in cold temperature, all right? So next, we've got Killian Black Phantom. Now to me, this is marketed as a unisex fragrance. To be honest with you, all of these are marketed as unisex, but I find Black Phantom to be more of a feminine fragrance. But I do know there are a lot of guys that love wearing the scent. But to me, it just gives me femme fatale vibes. Like this is like a woman in a sexy red dress. She's got the lipstick, she's got the heels on. She's getting those head turning type of reactions. People are intimidated to talk to her because she looks so beautiful. And she just commands that type of attention. She has that confidence. And that is exactly what Black Phantom is. And I remember on TikTok before, this girl asked me to do a video on Medusa fragrances. And I was like, oh my God, if there was one perfume in my collection at that time that gave me Medusa vibes, it would be Black Phantom. Because this is a strong personality type of fragrance. This is not for somebody that's shy and introverted. It is for somebody that just owns it. You know what I mean? Not like overly cocky because this fragrance is bold. And if you kind of do too much with it, then it can kind of come out. It, like you have to kind of do it in the right way, if it makes sense. The type of personality that I told you earlier of just kind of like that confident person that still has a little bit of reservation, not like the life of the party. You know what I mean? This is still somewhat a mysterious person, but just everyone is intrigued and entranced by them. So, damn. Another fragrance that I do not spray a lot of. For the most time, like for most times, when it comes to sweet scents, I hardly do pass three sprays because it's enough for me and I'm not trying to fill the room, but I want it to a point where if you're near me and you catch whiffs of it, it's like, ooh, that's new. I haven't had that one before. But if you do want to do five sprays of Black Phantom, you will get that scent trail. You will get that sort of projection. Um, and it's a very noticeable fragrance. It is not quiet at all. Next, We've got a Parfums de Marly. This one's more masculine. It's called Kalan. Now, Kalan is a very interesting fragrance to me because it just reads so different to a lot of people. Like, if you've seen my girlfriend's review of this fragrance when I had her on the channel, she found this to be more of like a fresh scent with no sweetness. And to me, this is more of like a spicy, like a warm, spicy type of fragrance and i see the fresh element she's talking about like this is something that i would spray like out of the shower you know it's just very easily wearable and what i find interesting with Kalan is that every single woman that has smelled Kalan on me has loved it women loved it the only hate that i've seen on Kalan comes from men and this has just been and that happens actually with a lot of fragrances and i might do a video on that of scents that are marketed as masculine, that men themselves don't like, so they overpass them, but women just go crazy about it and they love them. But Kalan just got that reaction. Like the women that I was around could not get enough of this fragrance. So if you wanna be sexy to women and you wanna give this a try, get a sample of it, do that. Of course, wear fragrances because you like them. And I know that's a basic thing to say, but I will still say it because I feel like some people don't, understand that or they think i don't understand that but yeah of course wear what you wear because you like it that is literally the bare minimum right there but yeah really great fragrance performance wise i got noticeably like six seven hours with Kalan, but this is something that i enjoyed layering with other fragrances like salt and pepper that was a fire combination and i am going to be doing that more often so Kalan. Good fragrance from Parfums de Marly on the masculine side. Now we've got another unisex fragrance here called Rejoice that to me, you know what? I was initially gonna say this leans feminine. I, th I still think I'm gonna say that this is more of a feminine fragrance. Oh. And that is not, I don't want that to discourage anybody. Like if you're a guy that wants to try this and you're like, oh, she's saying it's more feminine, I shouldn't try it. This is still a unisex fragrance, okay? It just, Try it on your skin, see how it lasts on you. But it is a gorgeous, fruity scent. Now, the first thing that came to my mind when I smelled this fragrance, well, the guy that I was with was like, oh, this fragrance is gonna take you to another world. And the whole night I was hearing that talk 
from a lot of like perfumers and a lot of these brands like oh yeah this is gonna change your mind about free like this is gonna change your life blah 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 i smell it subpar right but this was probably one of the few fragrances that actually lived up to what that person was saying and i was like oh shit that smells really good and then when i wore this recently the kind of vibe i got was you know with greek mythology the greek gods that live on mount olympus right like this gave me greek god goddess type of energy that you know people are feeding them grapes and shit and they're fanning them with like those big like tree leaves or something like that it's just this very relaxing fruity fragrance that is also like to me it smells like a successful person the greek mythology stuff aside it smells like a humble successful person and it's just something that yeah damn this and almas have been my favorite fruity fragrances of 2023 so far god i love this and this also like very wearable in the summertime very wearable in the springtime i think all seasons to be honest because this is an extract the parfum so this is 35 percent fragrance concentration so if you're somebody that's been burned by a lot of lackluster performing fragrances then you might want to try this because it's an extract and it will perform you don't have to worry about that with that scent now the next one is a more masculine fragrance here called Cidra Bose by Mancera and this goes I love Cidra Bose and people were telling me they're like you should stop recommending it because they don't do the twist bottles anymore they only do like the magnetic caps but I want I'm gonna keep it real with you you know what I mean like there are people that own this fragrance and like there are still ones with the twist caps available and like it's still a powerhouse like if i'm gonna make a video about like fragrances that make people melt this got crazy ass reactions whenever i would wear it so why would it not be on this list i'm not gonna stop putting cedra Pose on lists because you know man sarah did like a reformulation that i haven't smelled yet so when i do smell that i will make a video for you all but cedra Pose is this fruity fragrance that kind of smells like you're walking into Jamba Juice in the opening, and then it dries down with a woody base. Now, this is interesting because when guys have smelled this, I remember this guy in particular said that it smelled like aftershave. They liked it, but they weren't too impressed with it. But this is something that, it, that this seriously had women following my scent trail. I remember a couple years ago in the summertime, I went to go pick up some Little Caesars, and I did two sprays of Cidropose on my back. And I got compliments from like this group of women that was in like that pizza parlor area. And they're like, you smell so good. This is just something that I don't know what it is, but it has women in a chokehold. They really, really love the scent of Cidra Pose. And as I've said in previous videos before, this is the type of fragrance that is like my ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. This is still a scent you can wear in the winter time, even if it's like negative four degrees outside. You can wear Cidra Bose, know that you smell fresh and clean, and know that it's going to perform in that type of temperature because it does have that strength. Now, again, I have not tried the reformulated version of this fragrance. People have told me that they are not getting that good of performance, whereas other people have told me that they get stronger performance. So I really can't speak on that, but I will speak from my experience with this bottle right here. Women love 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 when i have worn cidra Pose. really really good all right next we've got a unisex fragrance here for the badasses and this is called ombre leather by tom ford now there's a lot of leather fragrances out there that smell like airplane seats that smell like airplane seats yeah i'm not, I'm not gonna go further with that description y'all know exactly what that smell is and ombre leather isn't that it's like this very likable wearable leather scent that is sexy. Now, to me, I'm not like the biggest fan of ombre leather. Like I've smelled it, I've worn it, I like it, but people that smell it on me like it significantly more. You know, it's something that I'm like, all right, you know what, let me throw this scent on. And I'm going about my day. I'm not like, oh yeah, this is the best smell, right? But when I'm with people, they're like, oh, I love that. You know, it just, it always kind of gets the people going a little bit. So ombre leather, is just for those people, I don't, I'm not going to say that you have to wear a leather jacket, but like if you like wearing outfits like in all black, this is going to smell good. You know, this is just a nice daring fragrance. It's a nice change of pace, especially if 
you're just kind of like if you're in that designer realm right now and you know you get a lot of your stuff from like sephora ulta macy's and you are looking for that more unique fragrance that more bold fragrance in comparison to the sweet florals the garden smelling perfumes the ambroxan bombs on the masculine side you want something that's going to just have that umph but still be a desirable scent that's leathery then you go with ombre leather now in terms of performance I got about like seven-ish noticeable hours with this fragrance. I'm going to say six, actually. Six to seven-ish. I never really applied this on skin. I would always do it on clothes. And that's how I like it with the stronger type of fragrances. And it helps with the performance as well. So this is more intimate than I expected. It is not nauseating. It is not super loud. But again, something that when someone is in your scent bubble they really, really are just drawn to it for some reason. The next fragrance is another unisex one that to me, I've been finding side effects to be more feminine lately, honestly. Yeah, I've been finding this to be more feminine scent to each their own. There are a lot of men that like to wear this and absolutely go for it. It's a rum cinnamon fragrance. And I feel the same way about side effect that I do with ombre leather currently. Now, I'm actually gonna give this scent more wears, but side effect, is again a scent that when I wear it, I don't really like it. This one, I, I do like it, but with this one, I'm it's a bit too strong. I'm not really, it's not my favorite scent, but people go nuts. Like they smell it on me when like, whenever I wear a sweater or something like that, and I'm like sitting next to somebody or I'm at like a little party and stuff, people are always just like, they just lean over and like sniff my shoulder. And they're like, damn, you smell good. So this is something that is an attention grabber. This is not a quiet person's type of fragrance. If you're an introvert and you don't wanna be bothered, then stay the hell away from this fragrance because all this is gonna do is get you attention whether you want it or you don't, okay? So you just have to be ready. If you're gonna wear like a sex bomb fragrance like Side Effect, you have to prep for that. And again, this is not a scent that I really enjoy wearing, but I can't even deny the sex appeal that this oozes. So really good scent. This is a nice femme fatale fragrance, kind of like Black Phantom in my opinion, but also it can work the other way. Like if you're a, if you're a guy, I remember um, when my sister smelled this and I was kind of asking for her impression on it. This was like a year ago. She said that this smells like a one night stand that I'll never forget. You know, so if you want to be memorable and you want that sexy nighttime fragrance, then you can rock with Side Effect. Now, the last fragrance here is from MFK, another unisex called Gentle Fluidity Silver. Now, Fluidity Silver used to be my go-to from MFK because it was one of the first scents I smelled from them. And I just haven't smelled anything like it before. You know, it is a clean fragrance. I don't find it to be super fresh where I would want to wear this when it's really hot outside. But to me, this smelled like a successful icy CEO. You know what I mean? Kind of a little bit of like, I've said Christian Grey vibes, I've said lesbian Chris, Crispin, Christian Grey vibes, whatever the hell his name is. But it just has like that dominating, clean aspect to it that's also very intriguing. And it does leave a nice scent trail. And this thing lingers. I remember I did wear this in the summer. I think it was last summer. And I was just kind of going through the hallway. We were at somebody's house and I was going through it. And then somebody met me outside later and they're like, by the way, the hall smells like you. It smells really good. And I was like, damn, okay, thank you. Thank you. You know, so this is definitely a nice notice noticeable scent and all the stuttering's coming up right now. But I will say I, I don't wear this as often anymore. Maybe I should make it my scent of the day. We'll see. And I'm not going to make it my scent of the day. But I do want to try Gentle Fluidity Gold. And I will say that for an office fragrance, I think that it would be nice. I think that if you are looking for like a boss office scent, you can definitely try Gentle Fluidity Silver. Now I will say go easy on the sprays because like I said, this thing could linger. You can probably do one spray and see how you enjoy it in your scent bubble. And that's all that matters when you're in the workplace. You want it to be something that you enjoy smelling throughout the day. And... um just honestly, no, nothing bad to say about this fragrance. I just, it's just been replaced by other things that I enjoy wearing more often. But every time I smell it, I'm like, this shit is so good. Like, it's really good. 
Yeah. And this is also something that people have similar experiences with where they smell it for the first time and they're like, whoa, that's going to be my signature. It's so unique. It's so different, but still very, very likable. So big love to Gentle Fluidity Silver from MFK. And again, as always, the discount link for all these fragrances in the description box below in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.